Alright guys, so I know you've been asking for a while now, but today we are redoing the, um, or we were remaking the, uh, Unity, like, girl type fame game thing. So basically, uh, you guys have been asking me in the video, uh, about where I teach you guys how to make your own girl type fan game. You guys have been asking me to update it because you guys said that some of your stuff doesn't work. So I went ahead and updated my Unity, and now we're going to... Uh, basically update the thing so if some of this stuff in this video didn't work for you just go try the other video and if some of the stuff in this video or the other video didn't work just come try to do this video uh yeah but today yeah that's what we're gonna do and if you ever wanted to get into crew with like band game making or anything like that we're gonna be using unity hub so basically the first thing you're gonna want to do is come down to your browser Go to Unity or whatever. I'm probably just gonna link it down in the description, and then download it for whatever computer you have. I'm pretty sure it only works for Windows and Mac. It might work for Linux. I don't know, but uh, I'm gonna say that it's probably better on Windows or Mac. Um, yeah, see Mac or it does work for Linux, but whatever. Um, yeah, just download it, install it, and then when it's installed, open it up. opened you're gonna uh, come to installs now when you open install editor you're gonna see a bunch of these what I personally recommend that works best for me is actually get an older version like I'm using 2021.3.3 or 2021.3.33 f1 um, because honestly it works better for like VR support in my personal like experience with it. I mean, you guess you can try any other editor, but I would go for an older one, like 2021.3.33 F1. If you guys want to get this install, I will link the um, installs archive for like Unity like installs in the description, and you guys can go and find this one. And then when you guys are installing your editor, just make sure, like if I'm just going to land on click this, make sure Android build support both of these are checked like all three of these are checked up um, So you should have this the visual studio and uh, visual studio checked and then all these all three of these Everything else you don't need to get like this is all, all you need and then click continue and it's gonna download Since I already have my install. Um, I don't need to do that But it actually might take a little bit so just come back to this tutorial when you guys are ready Once you have your install done you're gonna come to projects Click add new project, make sure your editor thing is good, and then you're going to hit 3D build in render pipeline. Oh yeah, and then organization, I'm guessing you're going to need to make your little like organization thing. Yeah, come to licenses and then you add a license or whatever, but it's not that hard, just do that and then you should be good. And then click add new project. Um, this is like my, like I think it's like my email or something. I don't know. I might blur that. Uh, project name. Just name whatever you want. So I'm just going to call mine tut or tutorial. Yeah, whatever. Just tut, I guess is fine. And then uh, and then you select your location. I'm probably just going to put it on my external storage. Uh, if you want to, if, okay. You need version control. This is only if, if this is if you want to make your project like, like like a team, I guess, if you have like a dev team, so like multiple people can work on it. So if you want to have that, just click it. If you don't, I mean, it doesn't really matter either way, but if you want to have like multiple people working on the project, then click this. But I'm not going to have multiple people working on my project because it's mine, so yeah. Uh, click create, and then it's just going to take a little bit to download. But once it's downloaded, uh, I'll get back to you guys. Alright, now once it's open, and it should look like this when you load it. Alright, so basically this is your, like, I guess like your open, whatever, where you're going to put your game in. Um, yeah, so to move around, and you, well, you're not going to be able to do this, you're not going to do this, like, now, because you have to set up the project, but, uh, just as, like, a little side note, if you want to move around in your scene, uh, I guess you can use these, but these are horrible, I would not recommend using, like, these little things here. What I would do is, what you do is you right-click, and then you use your W, A, S, and D keys to move around. Pretty simple movement. Actually, a lot better than Blender. I hate Blender movement. Um, but yeah, so, to set up the project, edit, 
project settings, XR plugin management at the very bottom here at, on project settings. Click install XR plugin management. Oh my god, I can't talk. Uh, and then just wait for it to download. I'll get back to you guys when it's downloaded. Alright, now once it's downloaded, make sure you're off project validation because that's probably where it took you. Just go back up to XR plugin management. And then here you want to click open XR. Make sure you're selected on the little like computer icon and then click open XR. And then uh, actually like halfway through um, downloading this, it should ask you to reload the scene or the reload the editor. I just click reload and then it should like exit out and then like reopen it. But it's not going to take as long as like opening the project like over and over again. So don't worry. Yeah, see right here when it says restart the editor, just click yes. Alright, and then once it's back open, if it gives you like these like if it gives you like these weird errors in project validation, just click fix all and it's gonna take like freaking five seconds. Alright, and then this one should be the last one that's uh like in the I guess the errors section, but it's not an error. Uh, it should have this little edit button here instead of fix. Just click edit, it's gonna bring you to OpenXR. On the little like uh, computer icon, just come down here to uh, like interaction profiles, and then click the X. When you're on the X, uh, click Valve Index Controller Profile. I know you're not going to be playing this on the Valve Index. That's just what you do. Okay. Now you're going to come down here and click Oculus Touch Controller Profile. I want to specify though, when you're on here, do not put in uh, MetaQuest Touch Pro. Pro uh, MetaQuest Touch Pro, whatever controller profile. So don't touch that because that's gonna kind of screw everything up. Up here, same, 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 uh, like thing. Oh my god, I can't speak. Um, render mode. I'm gonna change that from single uh, pass to multi pass. And then um, come over here to the little Android bot guy. Uh, change render mode from single pass to multi pass, and then do the same thing on the controller profile. But there's not going to be a, a valve index thing, so you just want to only do the Oculus Touch controller profile. Come back up over here on the XR plugin management, and then go on. Yeah, make sure you're on like the little Android guy. Then click Oculus, and then just wait for it to download. All right, now once that's downloaded, just go go down here to the Oculus section. Click Oculus. Oh my God, Oculus. Uh, go to the little computer icon, single pass to multi pass, go back over here to the Android thing, multi view to multi pass, and then make sure low overhead mode is checked on. Alright, now once you're like done with all that, then you can actually X out of that and then go up here to Window, Package Manager, and then up here click this little plus, and then click Add Package from Get URL. Click that. And then you want to type in the following: com.unity.xr.interaction.toolkit, and then click enter. And then just wait for it to download. All right, and then if it gives you project validation errors, just click fix all again, and it's going to take like five seconds. Oh, it didn't even take any seconds. Okay. And then um, X out of those, starter assets, open like the little folder because it should open it like there and then open it up. Uh, if you can't find starter assets, just open it in assets. I think it's samples, XR, that, and then open starter assets. Uh, then from here, you want to go to presets. I'm going to each and every single one of these like will like slide things here. Just click on it, come up here on the inspector and click add. And just do that for every single one of them. All right, now once you've added all of those, then just go back up to assets, and then you can drop that down. And then um, basically you're all set up. So now you can actually add your gorilla like rig stuff. So um, I'm probably gonna link down below a GitHub page. Just go to that GitHub page here. I'll actually show it to you. Yes, yeah, this this it's this GitHub page right here, and then. When you're here, you want to just click on Gorilla Locomotion Unity Package, click on that, and then just download raw file. Now once it's downloaded, you can actually just like, you can either just double click the file, or you can just drag it into Unity. I usually just double click it, but then when it's, uh, when it's in Unity, uh, just click all, and then import it, and then it's just going to like import the thing in your assets. 
If it says reload scene, just click reload, it doesn't matter. And then it should pop up as a little resource file here. Just open it up, open that up, and then you're gonna have your gorilla rig here. Just drag your gorilla rig up here in the hierarchy, and boom, that's your little guy. That's your, that's your player. Uh, now we can actually actually start working on the uh, scene because it's like good. I'm gonna delete the main camera and directional light because I hate those things. They make it look horrible. Uh, yeah. Also, make sure there's basic like the only like camera really enabled is your gorilla rig, or else like your game could like screw up and then like think that the camera that's not the gorilla rig camera like is the player or something. It happens sometimes. So. Um, with the Gorilla Rig, never rescale it. I mean, obviously you can rotate it and move it up and down, but you never rescale it because you're going to screw it up and then you're going to have to like re-put it in the game. It sucks. Um, with making the actual game, let me guys, let me give you guys a huge tip here. Um, go to Window, Package Manager, and then from uh, come down here and then where it says In Project, you just want to make sure it's clicked on the Unity Registry. And then you can either find it down here or search it. Just click or just search row builder. Oh shoot, hold on. I spelled that wrong. Yeah, here we go. Install Pro Builder. Just install that and wait for it to download. Alright, now once that's installed, you don't need any of the stupid samples. Just click X on it. Uh, and then Yeah, so once that's done, you're gonna have a little tool thing up here now. Just click Tool, Pro Builder, Pro Builder Window, and then it'll be here. Just click on like the little Pro Builder name, and I like to drag it over here, but you can put it like over here or something, where there's like these little tabs are, and then you can switch from your inspector to Pro Builder. And then to make my map, this is what I like to do, and what most games actually do. You just zoom out kind of big. Click New Shape, select the plane, and then you're going to have like this little yellow box. What you do is you just like make it pretty big and then just drag out the box like that and then boom you have like your I guess you like your start of your map but now you just click the faces like the little faces box up here and then hold down shift so you can select um, multiple select all the faces make sure they're all like yellow and then click over here down on the pro builder section subdivide like, I'm gonna do it three times, but usually you do it like twice. And then now, you can kind of visualize this. This is gonna be like your map. So like, here I'm gonna make like a little like, actually it's like a little star section. A little, like a little star section here, and then I'll make like a, like a little like walkway to like a shop. So like a shop could be like over here, and then just like make it big, like bigger, or I guess however big you want a shop to be, like that. And then, and then you can have like a lead to your map, I guess, area. And then you have like a credits room or something. I guess I made it a little smaller or too small. Or you have like a little credits room. Boom. And then if you can if you can't already see what I'm trying to do, then what you do is you just come over here on the pro browser section. Once you have everything selected, just click detach faces. And now you're gonna have up here in the hierarchy, you're gonna have the outline bit, and then you're gonna have the inside bit. So get rid of the outline bit, like that. And now what you do is you go back on like the little side selection thing. You select everything. Wait. Yeah, there you go. And then you select everything. And then you come down to the Pro Bow section, you click Extrude Edges. And see, now, you make it like tall. And then I usually like to look at our Gorilla Rig to like kind of get it from a point of reference because you do not want your game too big for your guy. 
I've done that many times, and it sucks, because then you're like, like your thing was, your map is way too big for your gorilla player, or way too small. But, maybe like a little taller, and that's probably good, right? Then, you can um, just click off of it, and then you're probably like, why do the walls look like that? Just click, like, just click the, like, the, the box thing here, like on the top. Just click the box. Select the, uh, the plane. And then click flip normals. And now everything's gonna be flipped. But then you're gonna be like, where's the floor? Click this, like, little, like, vertical, vertices selection, what it says, is that what it says. Click it. And then click one of the vertices of the bottom. And then down in the pro builder section, just click fill hole. And boom! There you go. There's your map. And then obviously you can add textures and stuff too. But it's actually like the best way, personally, to make your map. Um, yeah. So, there's that. Uh, I'm probably not going to cover multiplayer in this video, but I can cover it next video. Uh, but this is basically just the basics of the Gorilla game. And then obviously you can go to your game, and this is what your gorilla guy is going to see when he joins in. And then, I'm not going to play test it in this video, but I can in like other videos to show you guys that everything works. Uh, but yeah, that's basically the basics of how to set up your gorilla tag fan game. So, if you guys like this video, please consider subscribing. It means so much to me, and also, to boost my views, just give it a little thumbs up, a little, little like button there. Um... And if you have any feedback, just hit me in the comments. I usually reply pretty fast. Or you can join my Discord, linked in the description, and just type in the, the general chat. Just be like, yo, I need help. And I'll probably say, okay, and I'll help you out. So, I hope this helps, and I will see you guys in the next video. See ya.